Oh wow, there's gonna be a hurricane tomorrow. Yeah. So are you evacuating? Uh, not sure. Let me search. So are you evacuating? Hmm, not sure. Okay, can I see your browser? Sure. Hmm. Yep, you're gonna evacuate. Why was he able to predict his friend's future decisions? He must have read the paper on predicting evacuation decisions using pre-disaster web search data. So, can we predict evacuation decisions using web search data observed prior to the disaster? The short answer is, yeah, pretty well. But let me briefly explain how we did it. To extract valuable information from the noisy web search data, we developed the session-based query encoder model which is specifically designed to encode web search data where very subtle differences in vocabulary are common. This part is our technical contribution. Using the session-based query encoder model, we generate representations of each user, which are used to train and predict their evacuation decisions in case of a disaster. We tested our model using a very large-scale dataset of web search queries and mobile phone location data for validation both owned by Yahoo Japan, who has more than 10 million active users. The methods were tested on a real-world disaster, the East Japan floods in 2018, which triggered mass evacuation and serious human damage. Experimental results showed that our method had a high accuracy of 84%, and our model was shown to be robust against different parameter settings. Although our work lies in the context of disasters, we are also interested in the broader question. How are online and offline behavior related? How can they complement each other for prediction? Can we co-predict both types of behaviors? We are keen on what you think about this problem. So, if you're interested in human behavior, web search data analysis, mobility prediction, natural hazards, or if you want to know more about our research, please visit us at the poster session at KDD 2019. Thanks for listening and see you in Anchorage.